the game. He had the 10 point lead. Kind of take us through what happened there and how disappointing it is to give up that lead with, when you really had him on the ropes. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, that, that part of it is extremely disappointing. I thought, uh, you know, again, we had some, some chances to, to, to end the game. Um, on offense, had some, had some plays there that, that you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda type of deal to, to extend the drive and, and not allow them to have another, another possession. Um, I thought our pass rush was, was really good, and, and they, made, you know, they made a couple plays. Um, and so, again, that's very frustrating when, you know, you're, you're extremely close to, to finishing it out, and that's when you need to finish it. On the right, Steve Mims. Mark, can you talk about decision to, to move Charles over to defense and, and then kind of all still still have him a little bit in offense? Is that something you expect to continue going forward? I think so. Yeah, he um, kind of we had a kind of a discussion after um, last week's game of, of just some different different options of, of things going forward. And, and that was one that that uh, he he welcomed uh, and, you know, between the offense and the defense kind of worked that worked that out. Well, we'll have to have to wait and watch the tape. Um, you know, his athleticism and his speed obviously showed up, um, and and we'll we'll kind of grade it out once we once we watch the tape. Front right, Ryan. Go. As far as leadership goes, who would you expect in the locker room to really kind of stand up and get these guys prepared for Washington? A bunch of guys, a bunch of guys, uh, and and uh, the character of this team will be will be tested, and and I anticipate a great response. Uh, that there will be, you know, the nation back out again and the the doom and gloom and and uh you know that's where you have to again get back to fix it mode get back to to cohesive mode come together and forge ahead andrew on the right mark with the over here mark with the exception of jeff getting hurt it didn't look like the wind knocked out of him early on it looked like he was the guy you're going with tonight midway through the fourth why go with taylor there uh just kind of the set of plays that, that we had in mind um you know, we thought we thought he was best for those circumstances. How much does this quarterback situation still hold back the Oregon Ducks this year? The the, the lack of Vernon playing, and then these these two guys who struggle. Well, that that's your opinion, and and uh, you know, it's a team deal, it's a team thing. Whether we, uh, you know whatever, shut them out on defense, and and uh, you know, make it happen that way, or we. St- do great things in special teams. Do it that way. Do great things offensively. It's a it's a team deal. Uh, we win as a team. We lose as a team. It's not one guy, one position. Uh, and you know those guys are working their tails off to to improve. Just like you know someone that you think is doing a good job is working their tail off to improve. Coach Frost is in the back, right here in the middle. Tyson. Hey, Mark. Was uh, was Darren Carrington cleared to play today, and that was something maybe your guys' decision to hold him out, or was it still process? Um, it's not not our decision. I think the easiest way to, to to describe that is there's a there's a process for for reinstatement, and we're somewhere in the middle of that process. Mark, is there anything that looking back on it, you would do differently on those last two possessions of regulation, the two three and outs? Um, we'll watch the film and, and see, uh, again, I thought that there were a couple things that, that were, uh, there that, that we can coach up and, and, uh, get right. Um, and there's, you know, obviously some things, um, from a clock standpoint that were, will be, will be discussed. Um, and just how that, how the game ended will certainly be discussed. Anything else? One more, Austin. Mentioned the clock. It looked like there was some confusion on on Washington State's last possession with whether the quarterback was down or whether the pass was incomplete. Did you see? Did the clock run like it should have in that sequence? Are you talking about the end of regulation? Yeah. Yeah, I thought the, the end of regulation. There were, you know, there there were a couple times where we were try, They were they were winding the clock and the clock wasn't running. Um, there were times when, um, you know, again, I'm on some edge of getting. Uh, uh, if you snap the ball and the, the ready for play is not blown, that's traditionally um, seen that enforced as a penalty. It's a delay of game of snapping the ball before the, the ready for play, and so we'll, we'll discuss that. So you thought they did snap it before the ready for play? They did. I mean, they, they, they did snap it before the ready for play. That, that was stated.